stay on stage, move down. Stay, please. Can we have the music for the founder and chief editor of Jackman Magazine, TMTS Show crew, and genius, Oscar Sumpara. Tony, Tony Bobino, International. Uh, that's the Las Vegas one. <laughs> yes. And I thought of. I'm not. I'm not. Do you not like it? You're, you're like the guy who likes to do like I'm a communist, but I don't like the International. No, I think it's a great, I think it's a great <laughs> poem. It should. It, I think it's hard to sing. It's hard to remember the lyrics. It's like the national anthem. You like the national anthem? Well, really you're one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe national anthem. That's a nice national anthem. You know. <laughs> Woo! It's pleasant. You can remember the words to it. I don't know. He's right. Oscar, what's the right word? I know that we have, we've literally talked about many of them. I don't, I don't, I don't like uh, to call him a grip. I think I would be the very next So I would like to create a kind of lifestyle slash cookbook uh, called like Live Like Winston Churchill. <laughs> So like the Atkins diet with yeah. cigars. Like, it's like yeah. the Atkins diet, cigars, and racism. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking a liter of uh, of whiskey, you know, going for a horse ride, just to guarantee the get right when you're killed. <laughs> so you're so committed to the movement. All the rest of us are just like, we could just get paid stupid money, but you're actually you're trying to synthesize the material demands of making money and killing right wing. Yeah, man. He did what? He, he, was, he, was, uh, he was a painter. Yeah. Just like Hitler, actually. He did the same type of... No, seriously, the same type of landscape. Who was better? Hitler. Uh, I don't... I honestly don't know. Um, Hitler was not a good painter. He was... His painting sucked. So, so like, this whole, like, move, if you even mean... He was actually much better than he did. I know, I know. I think his like landscape paintings weren't that bad. And I think that's not an endorsement of any way, other part of the ideology of national socialism. I think everything that you just said is highly um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every great leader has lives before they become you know, leaders. So Churchill was, I don't know where he's going, but Mussolini was a socialist editor. I know, but Mussolini yeah. was yeah. a classic. Like, we need to look out for the Mussolini's of our day. He was, yeah, pure. he was a careerist. Well, he fooled he Lenin. Lenin. Lenin was very worried when well, he was going to turn right. Lenin, like, there's actual journals where Lenin's like, oh, it's a shame that we lost Mussolini to the right wing. Right. Well, it was talented. Um, yeah. that's, that's a hard transition. This is where we make money right now. Yeah, exactly. All right, so anyway, speaking of Mussolini, um, is Bernie Sanders going to run for president? <laughs> Smart, 
strategic I think for Bernie Sanders. Hundred percent. And that should be true of everybody. First responders goals, first responders goals are not healthy unless it's like about like you know Bob Marley or me <laughs> or Lula <laughs> or Lula. It's like a fucking word about Lula. Well, you know, yeah. Look, guys, if, if, if Bernie was in prison, if Paul Ryan put Obama in prison on fake charges, I would say shut the fuck up about Obama. Right? Lula's in prison for bullshit because you know. Yes. I know a guy at Chase that could give you, you know, a mortgage for what Lula got, a little house he got, you know? If, if you're like working at like Safeway, you know? Every, every single every single fucking uh, video they do of him where they're like, this is the oceanside home that Lula was said to have received. And it's like it looks like something that like my ultra price conscious grandmother would like, <laughs> <laughs> say. This is not upscale stuff. It's an all lies bullshit. He's a blue prisoner. But that being said, I see a trend now with Bernie among some people. Not, again, I think there's some people who have been just consistently across the board. But there's some people now where it's like, and including, by the way, if we're being blunt, some people like in 2016 that supported Hillary Clinton. And now all of a sudden it's like, well, you know, I don't really think Bernie read now a little red book. And, uh, you know, I really think we've got to really sit down and think about this. And it's like, here's the paradox that we have to work with. Nobody's perfect, especially actually if you get a great president elected, you're going to need to work our asses off to pressure them to even have a prayer of the agenda. And we have an actual opportunity to elect a fucking legit democratic socialist as president. Woo!